Hello, everyone. Do you believe the grass is greener on the other side? Like, do you believe if you marry someone else that your situation is going to get better? Like, you can find a better husband, you can find a better wife. Do you believe this is true? Do you believe the grass is always greener in every case on the other side? Let me say this. When two people meet, are they going to be exactly the same? Are they? Are they going to think exactly the same? Are they going to have ideas exactly the same? Are they going to are they going to speak exactly the same? Behave or whatever else exactly the same? If not, I believe there may be conflict, right? If I differ from you and you differ from me, won't there be misunderstandings? Won't there be things we have to compromise on? Won't there? Since there are things about me that is different from you, won't there be some conflict? Right? I can see if someone is not willing to compromise like they want it their way all the time, unyielding, if you understand what I mean by that. I guess that is one thing. But some people may have to be taught. If you did not grow up with your father or your mother or at least if you did not grow up with both parents, maybe you had one. Maybe you grew up with both, who knows? But depends on the quality of your parents. I think some people have not been taught right. Like for instance, myself, my dad would work on the vehicles and he did not really speak to me much on or really show me he had me watch him but he did not really show me how to work on vehicles well so i don't know how to work on vehicles now yes i could probably take a course or <laughs> try it out for myself but i was not taught I was taught how to clean. <laughs> My mother taught me how to wash the dishes, do the laundry, <laughs> mow the lawn, like clean up stuff. So when it comes down to cleaning, to an extent, I know how to do it. But when it comes down to tools, like, I know what a screwdriver is, <laughs> but there are some things some people may, some people may call out a tool to me and in many cases, I have no idea what they are speaking of. Why? Because I was not really taught. Some people have not been taught probably how to treat a woman, how to treat a man, 
how to behave in a relationship, how to behave in a marriage. Some people may not have been taught. So if you take your time, be patient, or even more patient, perhaps that person may change. I hope this is making sense. I don't think it is always that that man is bad or that woman is bad. I think much of the time it may be ignorance. Please listen. That person may be doing bad, but maybe inside their mind, they believe they are doing what is right because they may have seen their father do it, or they may have seen their mother do it. Maybe they have received very bad advice. Man, please listen. So what you have to do, and let me say this too, you are probably not doing everything right as well. You may believe the grass is greener on the other side, but you may be the reason why your marriage is not doing so well. At least you may be part of the reason. So if you get with another man or another woman, And if it doesn't turn out well, can you blame that person? Can you blame the other person again? How can I say that? Can you blame the person you are with again? Some people may not have been taught. There are things I know, and there are things I don't know. There are things my wife know, and there are things she doesn't know. So we have to teach each other. We have to be willing to compromise. We have to truly stick by the principles of the Bible. Stop imagining how it is going to be with another person. Work on your marriage. Firstly, if you aren't doing so, live for Jesus Christ now. Right? Because if you aren't, how can things go well? How? If your foundation isn't Jesus Christ, so if your foundation is Jesus Christ, your marriage, then it is founded on a rock. If your foundation isn't your marriage, isn't founded on Jesus Christ, then your foundation of your marriage is on sand. Hence, that is probably why your marriage is failing. Be patient. Teach your spouse. One of my ex-girlfriends, she taught me something. And before her, I believe I was taught by someone else. So, some of the time, yes, I was a bad man in my past, but some of the time, it wasn't always that I was trying to be bad. I think for some parts, I did not know what to do. As in, I believe I did know what to do, but I was wrong. Some people may believe they know what they are doing, but they are wrong. So in that case like that, you need to be patient because 
What if you do divorce your husband, divorce your wife, then you marry or get with someone else, and let's say things are worse? I was listening. I listened to a video, and a woman was married and she was saying there was so many issues and blah, 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 blah. So she got remarried and I guess she thought that things were going to be much better, like she is really in love with this man, blah, 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 blah. And as she spoke, it seems like her second marriage was worse than her first. So for her, the grass was not greener on the other side. Even though she had so many problems, I guess, in her first marriage, it would have been better, I think, for her to, it would have been better for her to not have gotten divorced to the first guy. I hope this makes sense. So stick with your spouse. It is one thing if they are constantly sleeping with another woman or another man, then you may have to do something else. But if they are loyal to you, you may need to find a better solution than breaking up. I think some people are so quick to let things go. Let me stop here. God bless you.